YouTube family, this is Francie with Finding Joy, and I am sitting in a lot of traffic. Hang on. All right, so I'm sitting in a lot of traffic. I'm going to pick up my daughter from college for the last time this year. Um, she's coming home, and she won't be returning to that college. So she is um, going to be going to a college close to us. So that'll be nice. Uh, the dogs are really going to appreciate it. Hang on. Okay. Well, that wasn't that. that was, I'm just sitting in traffic again. All right. So it's the end of another week. It's Friday. So that is very exciting. Three more weeks to go as far as with students. And then I have a couple more days after students. And then I'll be done for this summer. So I'm excited about that. And so I've been having some, I guess, pain, I don't know, on my right side. And I don't know if I would call it pain. It's kind of like a pressure sometimes. So I keep thinking it's probably my liver. So, you know, I've just, I've been trying to eat healthy and take my liver supplements. And then I thought, what if my liver supplements are doing it? So anyway, you know, you just go through all kinds of stuff. I can't get into specialists for weeks. I did make an appointment with a gastroenterologist um, for my fatty liver so I can get everything documented for sure. And it is documented. It's just, I want data and um, so I can see if I make any improvements. And then, because I was told in 2008, but I don't have any data about it. I don't have how much of it was fatty, nothing, nothing. So anyway, um, plus I need a colonoscopy. So yeah, anyway, so I need to get that scheduled this summer. And I did go to my urologist a couple weeks ago and got some antibiotics. And funny thing is, he asked me a question, you know, we're talking. He said, well, have you ever had kidney stones? I said, oh, no, we don't want to start that. Well, guess what? We started. You know, I just would love to go without any health issues for a while. So I have a kidney stone. And yesterday it was really bad uh, and I'm just calling it pressure maybe it's pain and I'm not thinking it as pain um, I don't know whatever it is it's uncomfortable so when I get to the point that I can't handle anymore that's what made me go to the emergency room no I actually called my doctor to try to get into my doctor but they couldn't get me into like Tuesday and I said okay and the lady is very rude to me she was like well, I can see here that you've canceled um, your bladder ultrasound that the doctor wanted you to have. I said, I, she said, it's like canceled seven times. Well, it's not seven times. <laughs> uh, initially, I went and, no, I think the first one I did cancel because it was during my work day. So I wanted it after school. Okay. So then I went and, um, they were taking too long. I said, I can't hold it anymore. So that was that. And we rescheduled. And then I went to my urologist and he said, you don't need an ultrasound. So why do it and pay for something I can't afford? No, because they're going to look at my bladder as soon as I have the money to pay for that. Okay. So, um, anyway, he gave me an antibiotic for urinary tract infections a few weeks ago. Well, yeah, maybe three weeks ago. So, and I don't know, I've had this pressure and pain in my side for at least a couple of weeks, I know, because I went to my daughter's graduation with it. So, yeah. Oh, I'm not ever going to get through here. I know my daughter's so anxious to go and she has to be out of there by five. And I'm stuck in this traffic. So frustrating. just cannot get through this bridge so anyway um, yeah I have a kidney stone and I was you know you think I was kind of relieved when they told me because I 
kept thinking my liver's probably worse, you know, it, my liver's failing. It was all, I was thinking about my liver. And um, when they told me it was a kidney stone, I thought, oh, thank goodness. You know, I mean, I still have fatty liver, that's still there. But I'm working on that and I'm really hoping to get that fixed and repaired. So, anyway, I guess the joy of finding a kidney stone, is there such a thing? Um, I don't know how, when it will pass or anything like that. You know, obviously it's taken a long time, but I do have an appointment with my urologist next week. I think Thursday, maybe I had it for June 1st, but I called him and told him, Hey, I'm supposed to call and tell you I had a kidney stone or I have a kidney stone. And, um, they, yeah, all of a sudden bumped up my appointment. I find that very interesting how they can do that when I tried to get in before and I couldn't. So, yeah. Alright, this guy wanted to make a lot of pollution right in my direction. Thank you. Thank you for that. Alright, so anyway, on the way to pick up my daughter and waiting for a kidney stone to pass. I really wanted to work on the van tomorrow. I was going to meet a subscriber and work on my floor. But I think it's probably in the best of interest to not do that right now and wait till this kidney stone is passed or dissolved or whatever it may do. And so I'm probably just going to stay home, clean up around the town home, and maybe crochet something like that. My camera went kind of dark. That's weird. I don't know why. All right. All right, I'm going to end this video here because I'll probably tag something else on. If not, hey, it'd be a short video. I like shorter videos anyway. Just wanted to give you an update and um, about what's going on. Not much is going on. That's why I haven't made a video. But I wanted to talk about the joy of finding a kidney stone. And it gave me joy because it wasn't what I was thinking it was. It could always be worse, right? And so they did a CAT scan. And... I read the results, you know, that still the diverticulitis in my colon or intestine, I don't know where that is. It's funny how they can see that in a CAT scan. Um, and they noticed, you know, my gallbladder was gone and, you know, just different things that I already knew. No uterus, you know, said something about the bladder, but I don't know. Something about the kidneys, but I think it refers to the kidney stone. I don't understand all that language. I have to look a lot up. So, all right. So, I hope y'all are doing good this week. I hope you were able to find some joy and serve others and give others joy. And I will talk to you all.